The first question is, how do I leave a toxic relationship? How do I leave a romantic relationship? <laughs> Once, or well, one has somebody say, how do I leave a romantic relationship? And another has somebody asking, how do I leave a toxic relationship? First of all, I don't even encourage teenagers to be in any form of romantic relationship, let alone finding yourself in a toxic world where you're being abused uh, verbally or abused physically or abused sexually. Please, my dear, what are you doing in that relationship? Whether as a boy or as a girl, take to your heels right away. There's really no hard equation about it. If you've come to the understanding that you don't need this romantic relationship, it's not helping your destiny, it's not helping your life, it's not helping other aspects of your life to make progress, then, my dear, pack your things and move. They did not tie your umbilical cord to that relationship. No, it's not a do or die affair. It does not even matter what other people around you are doing. If you have come to the realization that this relationship is not helping you, in fact, it's demoralizing you, it's distracting you, it's disturbing you, it's not helping you make progress, just leave the relationship. Just tell the other person, I'm no longer interested, I'm done with this relationship, and that is it. So in a situation where you're trying to leave another person insisting that you continue or trying to threaten your life, then report to an authority. You know, you may want to watch this video where I talked about how to say no to relationship. Report to an authority. Get somebody that can defend you to talk to the person on your behalf, to send the person away. Don't die in silence. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out, reach out to somebody, an authority figure in your life, or even an authority figure in the person's life, somebody that that person dreads, somebody that that person fears. Let them help you come out of that relationship. And then if you need to go for counseling after that, so you don't, because you're now, you've left the relationship, you're not missing the person, you go back to what you left, then please go for counseling, okay? Meet someone in your church or a teacher that you can talk to and let them encourage you and help you to stay free of that relationship that was originally destroying your life the last question here is how do i stop watching porn i've done a three-part series on pornography before find the link to that playlist in the description but in summary how do you stop watching porn first of all it's amazing that you've acknowledged that it's not good to watch porn it's not helping you both health wise mentally physically and all that and you want to stop so the first thing you can do is that you have to replace that porn with something usually you may be watching pornography videos or pictures when you feel bored or when you want to feel excited sexually you want to arouse your sexual organs and all that so what do you now do in place of that when you're feeling that urge and boy then you don't want to watch porn you can read the word of God. You can play games. You can watch documentaries. Find an activity to replace it. Apart from that, have an accountability partner. Have someone that you always report to. Someone that you can confide in and say, I'm walking away from pornography. I need you to help me. Check on me every day to make sure that I did not watch pornography today. Okay? Another thing is read the word of God every day. Study and meditate on the word of God. Now you're no longer watching porn feed on the word of god and always ask god for help ask the holy spirit to help you to stay pure and then avoid romantic novels avoid movies that have sexual scenes in them because i can't actually tell you to stop watching movies maybe you're the kind of person that loves to watch movies but you have to screen your movies this time around because you're trying to fight watching porn right so please Stay away from movies that have sexual scenes. Stay away from comedy skits that focus on a woman's backside or a woman's front side or that has a lot of sexual. You already know those comedians. You already know those kids. So block them from showing up on your screen or whatever. Unsubscribe from their channels or, or follow them or wherever you're following them on social media. Stop engaging in those activities that set, set you up sexually and get you to watch porn. Don't watch movies alone. Don't watch movies late at night. Don't surf the internet or be on social media late into the night when you're supposed to be sleeping. You know, don't leave your books to go and watch movies and all that, you know. Have an accountability partner. Pay more attention to what matters to you, your books. Read the word of God and meditate on it and always ask God for help, okay? If you still need further instructions on that, you can send me a DM on Instagram or on Facebook and then we can take it off from there. But it's awesome that you decided to stop watching porn. Please now take these practical steps to stop watching porn. It may not be easy at first, but if you're consistent in taking steps to stop watching porn, 
you eventually stop watching it. And I pray the Lord helps you in Jesus' name. So that's it for these five questions that teenagers have been asking. I hope the answers were helpful to you. If you have more questions, drop them in the comment section. If you have additional comments to what I have said, also draw them in the comment section. I always look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching. Do well to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.